Welcome to Gossip About Gossip, powered by Hedera Hashgraph. In each episode, we'll cut through the hype of blockchain promises and explore real-world examples of organizations creating the next generation of decentralized applications, which will bring trust back to the internet for us all. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Gossip About Gossip podcast. My name is Zenobia Godschalk, and I am the SVP of Communications at Hedera Hashgraph. Today, I am excited to be with Nicola Atico and Alicia Harrington from ServiceNow. Hey, guys, how are you doing? Well, Hello. thank you. Hi. Hello. Nicola, tell me a little bit about the company and your role there. Okay. Uh... So ServiceNow is uh, a cloud provider, and we, we like to say that our mission is to make the world of work work better for people. Uh, and really, ServiceNow is all about work and workflows, and we are able to orchestrate the activities of people in the enterprise and across the enterprises uh, in customer service, in technology, in HR, uh, in employee experience and a lot of other disciplines that are today key to the modern enterprise. And my role specifically, I'm a DLT blockchain solution engineer since uh, a few weeks, let's say, in the innovation team. And I'm dealing specifically with the use case that require support from a DLT um, technology like there. Congratulations on the new role. And Alicia, you work in something called the Chief Innovation Office over there. Can you tell us a little bit about that group and your role there? Absolutely. So being part of the Chief Innovation Office also is part of the same uh, wider group as alongside Nicola. We're really helping customers take an outside in view. We're looking at what is the emerging technology, what are some of the data trends in the industry, thinking more outside the box of how customers can reimagine their value chains, how they can innovate their core operations. And really, as an evangelist um, in my role, I'm very deep in industry and academic research, trying to translate that back to an individual customer perspective and starting to see how these industries are evolving and adapting. And so really we're bringing some of the best solutions and uh, so that our customers can also innovate new products and services uh, on the ServiceNow platform. Wow, that's a that's a, a big role, a big a lot to, to look at there. Um, you know, we are in um, we're in sort of the springtime, you know, April, May, uh, a lot of people talking about being energy efficient, being green. That means a lot of different things to both people and companies. What does that mean to you and to ServiceNow and to the Office of Innovation? Absolutely. So ultimately, it really means let's take from an enterprise you know, company perspective, which is really our main set of customers. We think about that by helping organizations understand what it means to, say, transition to cleaner sources of energy, um, reducing overall environmental uh, footprint or impact on the environment and being able to start to look at their core uh, power sources and operations whereby they can transition from a brown energy source through to a green energy source. And really that's what it means over time. But it's also extending when we say being green or being sustainable, you know, the majority of sustainability impacts actually result from a company's activities in their supply chain, um, as well as third parties, suppliers, um, and all of the vendors and partners within that company's wider ecosystem. So it's also about helping the ecosystem drive more of a net zero emission um, and reduce, you know, a carbon intensive operations at the end of the day. So when we think about that from a different industries perspective, it really is different per industries. It's very different coming from a, you know, a manufacturing company that's more looking at 
uh, sustainable uh, product design, looking at raw materials that are have a lower impact on the environment. And then when we cross over into the financial services sector, it's really about funding uh, more green investments and looking at how banks can assess their customer base in terms of total emissions. So we really look at sustainability or being green as something that's very, very different by the industry sets. And it's it's really important to, to see how that's evolving in these different areas. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a much more holistic view and, and very, you know, well thought out across a number of different industries. Um, Nicola, how did you first learn about, you know, uh, public ledgers, DLT, and then specifically Hedera? Huh. Well, um, that happened in 2017, I would say, uh, discovering blockchain uh, at that time and becoming passionate about the possibilities of blockchain and DLTs. And I, I, I think I... I learned something about the there at that time but i had the opportunity to dig a lot deeper in the last 12 months while we were establishing our partnership and service now uh, had the opportunity to join the dara governing council and that was really the time that i uh, I, I really started uh, um, digging deep in the capability of Edera and on topics like the consensus service, the token service, and more recently the smart contract and uh, investigating which are the use cases more compelling for ServiceNow customers um, in terms of utilization of this kind of platform. So that's, that's the story um, uh, behind that. Great. And why are your customers saying that they want or need to incorporate, you know, public ledger capabilities into their applications? Well, um, I think um, th th there are different perspectives on that topic, but uh, it's very important to understand the data tiring that customers have in order to um, uh, understand their needs in that sense. So um, from one side, there are data which are uh, like publicly available, we, for example, what is related to ESG disclosure, this must be made available for the public and must be certified and must be guaranteed that there are no uh, modification of this data and everything is, is tamper proof. Uh, on the other side, there are some data which are uh, internal, private to the enterprise, but you still want the customer to uh, commit on this data and be able to verify later that this data uh, is, is consistent. For example, this can be data uh, around the purchase order, other master data, which are required uh, in, 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 in the business network. And business network is really a key concept. We are seeing more and more customers which are willing to uh, not only digitize internal processes, but more and more digitize processes across different organizations. So in the supply chain between uh, uh, the, the focus company and the, their supplier and supplier of supplier, and on the other side, the customer, which are receiving goods and services from, from these entities. So these are all, uh, let's say, uh, key capabilities which are required, but also customers are looking more and more in topics like uh, tokenization for different enterprise uh, usage uh, and also the centralized identity, which is becoming very important uh, to establish any kind of credential really uh, in the ecosystem. Great. And Alicia, the Innovation Office is doing a, a, a tour around the country um, in, in the U.S. here. Can you talk about some of the early use cases that you're demonstrating to customers? Absolutely. So first and foremost, we're really looking at the carbon offset project marketplace that banks need to effectively fund um, a lot of enterprises that are looking to offset their emissions. So we are using Hedera distributed ledger technology to effectively be able to tokenize a, a digital asset, which is the carbon project and allow for um, customers of the bank to purchase those carbon offset credits um, and be able to reduce their emissions over time. So we do see that banks will be needing to interrogate blockchains, not only in that use case, but another use case would be 
for example, the, the actual customer of the bank's uh, footprint, say, in the supply chain where a bank can interrogate that particular blockchain with all of that environmental footprint data um, and know that it is verifiable, it's um, sourced, it's auditable, it's traceable back to the source as well and has all of those protocols in place to really establish evidence for not only the bank but the, the financial system for the regulators so that we really have this transparency and an ecosystem more broadly. So there's some of the use cases that we are uh, working with customers and showcasing at the moment here at ServiceNow. That's very exciting. And you've talked a little bit about that, you know, transparency that you get that you can share with, you know, regulators, probably with your end customers. Um, you know, what other kinds of benefits do you expect for your customers to see from the adoption of this technology? Uh, so as Nicola was mentioning rightfully earlier, you know, DLT ultimately brings transparency to the ecosystems, you know, whether it's the supply chain examples we're providing or the financial services. But what it means is not only reducing the cost of auditing and monitoring, but let's say an example in financial services, which is really clean cut, we can use um, a key uh, capability like a smart contract feature um, which can be utilised to create a contract among multiple entities. Um, and these digital rules can be stored on the blockchain and we can execute that automatically when, say, a condition is met. And that key capability can be used um, in areas of, say, commercial settlements within the commercial part of the bank, um, which overall reduces what we call um, counterparty credit risk. Um, so what happens usually is um, a bank is usually um, transacting and providing funds to the end bank, let's say for a physical commodity shipment going from one country to the next. We can execute that smart contract and reduce that settlement risk and that counterparty credit risk um, and really making sure that the process is efficient along the way and so that these settlement times um, are really rapidly executed um, and both banks can, can trust each other's set of rules all on the blockchain. Very exciting. I love to hear about some of these real world use cases. Nicola, what is next for the integration between ServiceNow and Hedera? Well, we have already established the, the capability to use DLT capability inside the ServiceNow ecosystem. Uh, so this is very exciting, I believe, because ServiceNow is all about um, developing an application, building low code application in a very simple way. Uh, so having um, available all the capability that DLT provide in, in this kind of format empower customers and partners really to uh, develop different kind of, of use case on the platform. Uh, but really we are um, looking in the possibility to uh, activate business network between uh, customers. This is something that we believe is very exciting and allow customers to digitize the process between them. We are seeing then that across multiple industry, we are seeing that in, in banking, of course, between the bank, the customer, um, and ecological project more and more in, in ESG. But we're, we are seeing that also in, in all other industries. Uh, supply chain is one of them where business network are, let's say, um, everywhere uh, because you, you need to manage this long chain of um, goods and services and finance. Uh, but also, for example, telco uh, are currently very active in the concept of business network because, uh, for example, there is a need to manage distributed asset uh, networks between different organizations, either companies and partners and maintainers, and, and that require a single source of truth that cannot be maintained by the, an individual organization, but needs to be something that is available to the entire network of, uh, of participants. So this concept of business network, we think is very key and is strongly related to the concept of value chain in the different industries and all the different capability that ServiceNow is able to provide um, for, for, for business uh, all across the world. That's very exciting. Having all of those you know pieces come together and, and communicate and be able to share data um, as you all both have said very transparently. Um, I love the vision. Nicola and Alicia, thank you so much for spending time with us today. We really appreciate it. And we hope you will join us again at some point in the future and keep us updated on um, everything that ServiceNow is doing. 